Greetings and salutations. This is Darwin with Compass Mining, here to give you an overview and breakdown video of the new Alphapex DG1 cryptocurrency miner. The cryptocurrency that it mines is going to be the LTC and Dogecoin. And uh, we're going to get into it, tell you a little bit about the specs, and uh, open it up and see what makes it tick. So, uh, what do you say we get into it? So once again, get to that name. It is an Alphapex DG1. It retails for just about 7,300 at 7,300 US dollars. And some of the specs on this particular unit, its hash rate is 11,000 mega hash per second. That's plus or minus 3%. The power that's going into it is going to be 3,420 watts, plus or minus 10%. And again, the power efficiency on the wall is going to be 0 0.31 joules per mega hash, plus or minus 10%. The power input to this is going to be your standard two plug, 200 to 200 volt AC, with a 47 to 63 hertz power input. The power going in is 20 amps. That's going to be 10 amps per wire. Network connection is going to be your standard RJ45 Ethernet cable. And as far as the size of the overall miner, in millimeters, 369.3 by 196 by 287. And your net weight is going to be 16.1 kilograms or 35.5 pounds. Going on the outside, we have our standard reset button, uh, IP report, gives uh, fault normal indicators. We have our TF or SD card slot here. Three fans on the power supply. Uh, not a big fan of not having these cables tied down. I think that kind of makes it uh, a little bit easier to snag. And there's no good place here for a zip tie. But these cables are sheathed, which is really nice. It has this little covering that goes over it. So that makes snagging or pinching the individual wires uh, more minimal. Uh, what do you say? We take this apart and see what makes it tick. We're going to start with our covers here. And I do hope you like the sound of a drill. Two screws here in the back. And our power cover is off. So first observations, as you'll notice, one, two, three, four hash boards. The layout and configuration is very similar to the ant miner miners, which can be a good thing. That means our cables here will probably be interchangeable. So no need for a specialized cable when you when or if you should need to replace it. Our cables going into the power supply, also very standard. Six pin and our data cable here is a four pin. Our fans, four fans, input and output, simply pull, wiggle, wiggle, pull, wiggle, wiggle, pull, and we have our fans out. Once again, with that sheath on, it makes these wires very easy to slip right out. As you can see here, we have four screws. And that takes off our grill. These fans are 12 volt fans at 2.7 amp ratings.
one nice thing, always a big fan of more communication rather than less, you'll notice these plates are marked so you know which fans are out and which fans are in. Fans on the back, this plate is held in by four screws. And our plate comes off. As mentioned before, four boards. Let's go ahead and take that off. We have one, two, three, four, five, six screws per power rail. One thing that is interesting is that these power rails are interchangeable. They are not marked positive or negative. And just like that, our rails are all interchangeable rails. Now we are at the moment of truth to take a look at the hash boards. One thing you will notice right away from this very shiny back, aluminum backing. Heat dissipation is great, but the repair much more difficult. Two heat sinks on the top, but it also does not have to does not cover everything. Kind of a very clean layout. One, two, three, and four. And we'll come back to our hash boards. But let's go ahead and take a look at our control board on the top here. Two screws, take that off. And we also have a little piece of tape that's up here. Uh, in order to take that front off, you kind of want to peel up that tape like so. Comes right off. Easy peasy. Go ahead and unplug our last two fans here. And our control board slides right out. That number on there is B84. C87E001E2. Okay. Now, returning back to our hash boards. 3, 6, 9, 12 times 2, 24 screws to take off. So, as you've noticed, this has some black spacer rings. You want to make sure to keep track of all of these. And this heat sink is kind of dim, so you want a screwdriver or the back edge of your pleasers. Take that off. You'll see that uh, the Thermal pace is along the strips, it's very minimal. And let's go ahead and get that other side. Carefully prying up, there we are. And now, boys and girls, let's do some counting. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And going up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve times twelve is 144 ASIC chips per board. The writing on these chips is very small, but it says SSL31. Next line is LA01. Next line 01901. And finally, that very, very tiny writing, 2402. I feel like I've just completed my eye exam test, and hopefully they will give me new glasses. So, as mentioned before, 144 chips per board. The um, There is a conformal coating that is over the rest of the circuits here. So that will make desoldering these circuits that are outside of the heat sink range much more difficult. So please keep that in mind. So that's the front of our hash board. And once again, the back is an aluminum back. So all your circuitry is going to be right here on the front. So that's going to end our overview and breakdown of the Alphapex DG-1 cryptocurrency miner. And please come back for more videos brought to you by me and Compass Mining. Have a great day.